Hello everybody, how are you? I hope all of you are doing really good. So welcome once again to your own channel, KS Teaching. And if you have not yet subscribed, before we move forward, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you get all notifications, all the important information on time. You do not miss out on anything really important that is updated. Okay, so this is one of the most talked about topics in the last few days since the announcement of the new course. That is the group 2 hack that everyone has been talking about. So I'll share my viewpoint that whether this group 2 hack will work. Kya ye kaam karega sir? Sach mein kaam karega group 2, work, uh, group two ka hack uh, that is being talked about. Whether it will really, really, really work. Kya hoga sir iske baare mein? Toh thoda sa charcha karte hain. Let's uh, listen to ki what is the actual scenario and what should be the institute's take on it. Right? So I'll share my viewpoint on this. Under the existing scheme, if you are talking about the group two, you have four subjects, advanced account, audit, EIS, SM and FM, EFF. Under the new scheme, you have got cost, audit and FM, SM. So one thing is very clear. One thing is absolutely clear that if you are done with the group one under the existing scheme, then you will be exempted from this cost paper. That is 100% sure, sir. Right. That in case you have you are done with, you have cleared your group one under the existing scheme. You need not prepare the cost accounting paper under the new scheme. You will be exempted in that case. Right. Now coming to the hack regarding the group two, which uh, everybody has been talking about. So I thought, why not uh, share my viewpoint on this after going through uh, everything? I have my view. Uh, sir, the hack is. If you get exemption in audit and if you get exemption in FM EFF under the existing scheme, then and uh, you just appear for these two papers, you just appear for advanced account and EIS SM even if you do not clear it, right? Then what is being said is under the new scheme, your audit will be exempted, your FM SM will be exempted, cost is already exempted. That means you are done with the group two under the new scheme. You will be promoted, you will be directly taken to the CA final, right? You will be considered as a CA finalist. Now, will this really work? Sir, listen to it very carefully. Under the new scheme, you haven't yet cleared this SM paper. So everything revolves around this paper of strategic management. Financial management, you are done. Audit, you are done. But what about strategic management? And how can institute clear you to CA finalist? How can CA Institute consider you, you to be a CA finalist without clearing one paper, sir? Even if it is a small part of one paper, it is a 50% part here. So you have cleared only 50%, sir. Remaining 50%, you are yet to clear this exam, right? Then how can you be considered to be a CA finalist? So according to me, according to me, this group two hack will not work. You will have to appear for FMSM. This is my personal opinion. Let's see what is the institute's take on it. But my personal opinion is, sir, you will have to appear for at least this paper of financial management and strategic management. Or if there is any way out that how you can clear this strategic management part, let's see what institute has to say on it. Right. But according to me, you will not clear group two like this, that if you Go on for edit, audit and the FM, EFF, you get exemptions. You prepare only these two subjects. And for the rest of the papers, uh, you just appear. Please do not take such a risk for November 23. That is my advice to you. That please do not take such a risk that you prepare only two subjects and rest of the two subjects you are not preparing, right? Please prepare all the subjects and try to clear your exams in the November 22 itself. Okay, so this is my take on the group two hack that you will not be able to clear like this. Let's see what the institute has to take on it and we'll share when the institute comes out with the proper notification that what will be there regarding the exemption, right? So see you guys till then. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep studying, keep sharing. Thank you so much.